Caroline. Well, I'll tell you how it is. It's uh, just great. The sun's back out. We're all having a great time here. There's uh, loads of people coming and going and enjoying uh, the exhibits here at the Cotswold Motoring Museum. It is Caroline Flashback. Mike Brill here with you, uh, certainly for the next hour. We're, we're just sort of doing some technical work. Do you know it was a year ago this weekend that Flashback actually started testing all those all those months ago and uh, we've certainly come a long way thanks to you and uh, we'll continue uh, the service for as long as we can and we'll play uh, play well what we've been doing i'd like to introduce uh, a good, good colleague and a friend of radio caroline uh, howard Kopich. good evening hi uh, i say evening it's afternoon isn't it afternoon howard um how's it been going for you so well far? I've, I've had a really brilliant day uh, but what i want to ask you mr brill is what actually are you doing you're in this caravanette what am i doing <laughs> explain to the listeners um literally what's going on well uh, those people that know me or know of me know that um i have a camper van and uh, one of my <laughs> if you like one of the things i wanted to do is try and create a radio studio in a camper van that could broadcast from anywhere um, as Ronan once said, Caroline can be anywhere, and I think this is, this qualifies. Uh, it may not be a ship, but it uh, certainly gets around. And uh, we've had some successful broadcasts from uh, the likes of the Cambridge Rock Festival and various other sort of one-offs that we've done over the years. So uh, I was kindly invited to, to come along to this exhibition. Uh, obviously, there's already a Caroline display here and uh, it's just perfect for a for a camper van experience like like we're having right now so technically how do you do it well it's it's everything's miniaturized it's trying to sort of squeeze um broadcast paraphernalia into as small a space as possible and leave room for me to actually uh, sleep and eat in 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 the van yeah because i'm i'm s- obviously sat facing you at the moment your head's almost touching yeah. um i don't know if it's a bed or a ceiling no, or this is or a bunk bed above my is that head. what it is yeah but yeah. i don't sleep up there but it's uh, it's there you know if you yeah. if you've yeah. got more people than you can uh, fit in normally um but no it it's just a a camper with, with uh, a lot of equipment that enables you to uh, or me to uh, feed the audio signal out through a, a just a common garden 4g connection um, out to the internet and hopefully into the uh, the studio or the mixer that's uh, receiving uh, the broadcast and then on to flashback now we're on flashback hopefully for the next hour or so um, have you chosen the sort of music you're going to play or is it just happening it's just happening that's but i have chosen uh, a few tracks from 1966 because that's one of the featured years yeah. uh, that seems to be going on at the moment <laughs> so who was your favorite around that time i did say i haven't actually got a favorite but you well, tell me Actually, one of my favourites from that era, well, well, the band, was the the Beach Boys. And I'm just scrolling through a load of tracks here, and I'm going to play what was my favourite track of all time uh, by the Beach Boys, um, a track that I'm sure you know well, called uh, Good Vibrations. Brilliant. So let's vibrate. Uh, I love the good vibrations. That's right. That's more interesting. Usual stuff. Are we still on? I'm sure Roland will tell me. We did have a little break, but we're back on now. What happened to the studio then? Does it just go on? No, it just went silent. Oh. It's because the the charger in there for my dongle it wasn't all the way in the thing, so I thought it was charging, but it wasn't. And we were right to use the... Yeah, 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 yeah. You want to pre-fade it? It's on. Yeah, that's on. There he is, Jimi Hendrix all along the watchtower. Caroline flashback. There was a short break just now. We did have a little technical moment, uh, but it's live radio and we're live at the Cotswold Motoring Museum uh, in the beautiful, beautiful Borton on the Water, which is the most fabulous place ever, isn't it, really? It is rather lovely, yeah. And uh, everyone outside, well, some of them are looking in. Most of them are doing their tour of the uh, the exhibits, yeah. which can take yeah. a while because there's so much to see. And we're selling T-shirts. We are. What, flashback T-shirts? Loads of them. All oh, right. Yeah. Nice. I've got a question for you. Oh, um, here we go. <laughs> now, you, you coordinate the outside broadcasts. So when it goes from, well, it broadcasts uh, from the Isle of Man, how does that work? I've been asked this several times. Um, it, obviously, we don't want to, when we're doing those broadcasts, interrupt the normal running 
and programmes of the main station, as, as we call it, yeah. Radio Caroline, uh, the album format station. So um, the only way we could achieve that was to have a, a separate setup that ran almost identically technically along the same lines as the main station but was actually in a different location because uh, there just wouldn't be the capacity to, to run two things at once so uh, fortunately I have a, a setup not not always in a camper van but in a in my home studio I can uh, cater for an incoming connection from the ship and I can also create the streams necessary to feed Manx Radio and uh, obviously our conventional um, stream that we use for the uh, Caroline North broadcasts. So that's how it's done, really. It's um, largely down to me. <laughs> now, the Manx broadcasts have been very successful, but everybody tells me that the last one was superb. Why? I don't know. I think it because it broke into the 80s. Which uh, some people, I'm often asked why I can't flashback play more 80s songs. I suppose it could, but um, it almost warrants another station um, to, to cover an ho another whole decade. Yeah. I mean, flashback was always set up to be different and sound different from the main station. Uh, the main station plays a lot of 80s music, yeah. um, obviously, album music as well. Uh, so far, we've managed to uh, not play heavily uh, 80s format on flashback. But we indeed could do that in the future. But the programmes actually originate from the Ross. So the um, format is as it was in the 60s or 70s. Is that partly the reason it's so successful? I think it's because it's from the Ross. I, I don't think... Um, I, obviously, the music part of it is very important. Yeah. Uh, and people like the, the authenticity of, of broadcasting from a ship with a load of guys that, that will live and work together for, for a weekend and it does come across as a totally different sounding station. Yeah, it's the camaraderie. And that, yeah, yeah. it definitely is. The music's yeah. important but they, they all know their music and everything you know, gets, gets mixed in and there's usually a theme that's running. I think they went up to 1983 on the last broadcast and uh, I suspect they'll go on further on the next one. All right. Well, now, does that answer your question? It does, it's Michael. Grilled it does. In. I don't often get asked questions <laughs> on the air, but uh, if you're lucky enough to be hearing this on Caroline Flash Flashback, um, uh, I don't even actually do a program myself on Caroline Flashback as a general rule. I'm just happened to be here today, um, enjoying the sunshine and the environment that we're in. But now, are you going to spill the beans why we went off air for a couple of minutes? Um, yes, one of my plugs uh, wasn't firmly plugged in if you know what i mean the mains it looked like it was plugged in but it wasn't so it and it was as simple as that it was that most things that gremlins they're they're waiting for you to find yeah. them you yeah. know they won't show until they they actually matter you know but it, <laughs> it's really annoying but these things are, you know makes it more fun it makes it live and it makes us happy this is the hollies now on flashback Right, he's getting to the punters. 